Hello there, this is Space Nerd 5. Welcome back to episode 10 of our Swiss Swiss, Swiss Let's Play series um, in EU4, experiencing the new changes in the Empire expansion and update to EU4. Go ahead and jump back in here. Um, this is episode 10, so I'm going to try and do a uh, maybe like a one hour special or something. Um, just, just do something nice, you know. We are currently writing out kind of, kind of theory against France. So we're, we're kind of just trying to keep our army alive for a little while and make sure France doesn't stack wipe us. It's like the printing the printing press has spawned. Let's go ahead and see where that spawned. Printing press is over here in Bohemia. So that'll actually spread to us pretty quickly since we are encompassing them basically <laughs> at least on half the scope. Oh no, that's Brandenburg. Their color and our color is very similar. Call our diplomat from our vassal. That is a big f stack from France. 40k troops just sitting on the uh, the border. Not too big of a deal. Let's see. We cannot demand. Fewer rebel controlled provinces, less than one. Well, that's gonna fall back to us very soon. So. There has been some word, or I've seen some videos and played a little bit. Um, the HRE is broken. Like, they broke the HRE. You can reform the government, or the entire uh, Holy Roman Empire, reform the Holy Roman Empire, within, by, before, well, actually, before now, even. Before 1500, you can actually reform the Holy Roman Empire. Um, just because... The way it works is you get 10 imperial authority for adding countries. And you can have all of Italy leave during the shadow event. And then they'll all rejoin if you get their opinion up high enough as the empire, as the emperor. And you can add pretty much all of the Balkan states. Hungary will join. You know, all of Italy will rejoin. That's, you know, 40 to 80. Probably even more than that if you uh, split the countries up more. Like Milan can split out. A couple, yeah, Parma. I think there's a couple other ones. Um, Savoy can easily split out three. Yeah, Provence will join. You can get all the lowland states. Uh, actually, I don't think that's lowland, but all the Dutch states. I think lowland's over here. You know, you got France even. If you, uh, as Emperor, you beat up France, you can get split out all the many vassals. You got Brittany will join. So you, you could have almost all of Europe join. Oh, actually, England's losing to Scotland. I haven't seen that in a long time. You can get Poland, Lithuania to join too, um, and you can pretty much have this side of the Balkans join as well. So it's it's a little broken. You can reform that very quickly. Just you know, get ten for every country that joins, and there's a bunch of little one province miners in Italy that you can have join in. I mean, look at the two Sicilies have joined. You can get all of France. You could probably get Aragon, Castile, and Portugal in if you. Uh, Split them up into their vassals and annex them, release them, and do some uh, finagling uh, with that. You can definitely do it with Aragon because they have all those little vassals as well. So you you could be a very easy world conquest if you basically get this in the first hundred years. All right, well, probably this in the first fifty hundred years is you could take the rest of Europe and you're already pretty much set to go because these all be your vassals. Yeah, so it's a bit broken, but we'll go ahead and continue. Let's go ahead and demand some land from our vast, from our states. Get above 90%. Yeah, everyone else is going to fight our rebels, that's okay. Thank you. Right, let's go retreat into <laughs> Austria. France's army is over here. Don't mind us. Oh, looks like you, uh, you actually expanded... Should take a province off Hungary. Looks like you did, silly. It's probably Cilia, but I think Silly's funny. <laughs> Let's see, we have claims on Munster we can go ahead and fabricate. Go for the capital of Munster itself. Because you are our current rival. Or just have crossed the border. Let's 
Now, who is our kind of deer actually rented out? I've already forgotten. Some separatists have succeeded. Oh, wait, you can actually see right there on the flag. The two Sicilies. When can I revoke my uh, Condottieri? April of next year, so... It's about six months from now. Okay. You were disappointed. Well. Let's see, who are we fighting? Just France. Yeah, only France. Alright, let's go sit on a fort or something. Liege is renting out troops. Not too big of a deal. Looks like Austria is losing a fight. Oh, nope. They actually ended up pulling it out. Perfect. We will go sit on this fort. Okay, Wurttemberg. I'll take your rebels out for you. You guys can't be upset, I'm helping with a fort. It is costing us quite a bit of manpower. Looks like one of our advisors just passed away. Diplo advisor. Let's go for the Diplo rep. Make people a little bit happier. Formalized separation of powers. Switzerland gets separation of powers until the end of the game, giving us fall effect plus 50 prestige. Okay, sure. I'll take the 50 prestige. Or 0.5 prestige a year. And we're already pretty much capped on prestige. We don't want France to win, but we also don't want Austria to win. We're kind of in this weird position, because France is our ally. But we don't want the Empire to we be weak. No, there goes an Austria 10k stack. Oh, came a 20 stack. Siege has fallen. Austria's just gonna keep reinforcing, okay. Again, diplomatic insults on Austria. I'm I'm okay. I'm I'm not ready to fight Austria, to be honest. Let's go ahead and see about buildings to build. Uh, trade power is kind of lackluster, to be honest. Let's see, production. I think Gallon is pretty good. Texas. We got two decent provinces. Alright, and that's all of our money for the most part at the moment. That is a French 40 stack sitting next to our army. <laughs> Let's go ahead and just take a little stroll away. We did our job. It's a 70 stack right there. Of Austria's coalition. No, let's actually go go help them with Wien. Just that way the war goes on longer so I can get some more money out of the two Sicilies. Because right now we're getting almost 18 ducats a month from them. Come back, Liege. Is it the edge? Liege. I always forget. Yeah, it's just Liege. guys going and we're almost fully converted back gain general with a hundred army tradition I think so it's well worth it let's see he is a three five six four leader he's gonna be able to siege forts down so quickly there's your army But well, he and his army isn't fully reinforored either. I thought their manpower was doing a little bit better, but then again, they just fought Austria themselves. Oh, I don't know where uh, the Edge's armies went. I understand that you're. Oh, there it is, right there. And threaten the French and we can always revoke if things start going south is the woods Austria's 30 stack is right there they'll be coming to support us France doesn't have a leader and we're
are going to get reinforced. There we go. Wow, we killed almost three times what we lost. You're disappointed, I just fought a battle. Let's see. Under Diplo Point? Yeah, uh, actually... Stab is very expensive for us at the moment, just because uh, we have no Republican tradition, so we'll lose the Diplo Points. Let me take Admin Tech. What is that building? The State House? Statewide governing costs, that's pretty good. I thank you two Sicilies for fielding or funding our entire country for what, probably the next 10, 10 years? No problem. France does have a 45k stack, but we got two Sicilies here for 22k plus our 23, so that's 45. We can rival the French, though we are sitting on hills. Just not that great. Venice has insulted us. France, that's very nice of you to take out Savoy's rebels for them. Let's see. You're an ally, aren't you? Yeah. I saw you're starting to get claims, it's good. He rejected the Protestant conf confessional position in the Imperial Parliament. Uh oh. No, now we have the Protestant League. And there it is. And Castile went, get, went in with them. Muscovy is on uh, the Catholic side though. This could be any big this game, or... Uh, they're pretty normal on it, actually. Ryzen doesn't normally exist, but whatever. Oh, looks like the war is over. Our kind of theory is still rented out, though. Military tech important. Uh, yeah, it's put buffs beefs up the artillery. There you go. There's our army back. Let's go and build up to... Oh, actually, force limit's a lot higher than I thought. I think we can afford uh, 10 cannons. Make us a huge fighting force where we can just pretty much just walk over everyone. Alrighty. Go ahead and improve relations with our vassal. How many relationships lost? We have the Papal State. France and Strasbourg. Okay. I think all of these are acceptable alliances still. This is a new recording session, um, so. Why are we making nine ducats all of a sudden? Just, we just make that much money? Okay. Yeah, we can definitely field a bigger army then. Go and focus military points. Uh, since we are going through a military idea group and we still want to stay ahead in tech. I'm going to take Admin Diplotech, Calvary Combat Ability, sure. We're not going for the Wing Hussar achievement, but, you know, I always take it. Burgers lose loyalty, but we gain money. Sure. You know, I don't particularly care if they're upset. They basically have no power anymore in the government. Ah, uh, yes, and I we need to put our three five six four leader in charge, and let's go walk over to Munster. Ah, uh, we still have a truce. Darn. Well, yes. You seem like a uh, a worthy. Oh, we have a truce with you. People of the wrong religion that we border. And halt. Sure. You will do. 
go stand there. Brandenburg, you don't have any claims, so you don't have to worry about that. Show superiority. Uh, we don't need any of our allies in here, honestly. See, almost a level 1 fort, and we start with plus 21% um, to the siege. Oh, there's our truce with Hess. Oh, ah, darn, I was I was hoping for a one-month tick for uh, the Siege of, of Ulm. Sure, we can lose the prestige. We're going to get it back real quick. Thanks for having an initial plus 21%. This siege is still taking a while. Well, good job, NASA over there. There's prestige. There is the Siege of Ulm. It took 169 days. But we'll just go walk over to Anhalt. Sure, just gain the, uh, the small benefit versus having to at least lose some... Uh, a little bit. Because the long run will be better. Look, plus 14% a level 2 fort initially. That's pretty good too. You guys can honestly form an army. I don't care. Ulm, um, you want ouch? Sure. I'll let you be for a little while. Come back from the Pope. Looks like Castile has another... Look at that, Siege of 101 Days. Castile has a new vassal, or another uh, colonial state. That's 4% war score just for stack wiping a one, one troop. Clergy, why are you so happy? 26 days on Anhalt. Yeah, let's go over here real quick, and that'll be a, another probably one month tick. war score against the wrong religions. I guess not wrong religions, different religions. Yeah, plus 92%. 211 days, we were only there for a couple. It's a little bit of a coalition. Just Strasbourg? Sure. What was if I don't take that? No coalition whatsoever. It's only 18 aggressive expansion just for eating two provinces. Release Thuringia. Yeah, I don't really care about doing that. Well, this does give us a border with Saxony. Or not Saxony, Bohemia. Alright, maybe not that one. Core these real quick. Bring our army back so that we can go fight Hess. Uh, nah. Sorry, Austria, but uh, you don't scare me. Alrighty, Hess, you were allied to Brandenburg, won't join Memington. Moonsing's right there. Dortmund. Trent's there. Where is Dortmund? Oh, there. Alright, Hess. Uh, let's go ahead and go for our 70% uh, aggressive expansion. 100. Yeah, let's go for cleanses. Cleanse the heresy. Gives us less aggressive expansion. Look at that. 21%. We just walked on your fort. One in five chance. Nope. Essentially a one in three chance now, though. Hungary's peasant war is ended. Looks like Hungary had to spit out. What is this? Wallachia at one point? Yep. So they used to own that. Military leader has left. That's okay. We still have our, our, our god general. 85% already. Thank <laughs> you. 
get another general honored army tradition, sure. Look this guy. Oh, he's not nearly as good. Let's go help our vassal real quick. 14%. It is a level 2 fort. But yeah, they're we're seeking you so much quicker than they are. I kind of wanted Brandenburg to be inside the war, because then I can do the artillery barrage on Berlin, because I don't have that achievement either. It's a very easy one to get, but just haven't haven't actually fought Berlin yet, since I've been planning the other parts of the world. Minus 35%. Still nothing too big. Yes, are you hiring mercs right now? No. You're known for your mercs. No, I can't really blame you. You probably don't have any money. Trade League is disbanded from Venice. There is the fall of... It wasn't Hess's capital, it's just their fort. We'll come down here and siege down uh, Lemington and Trent. Because you're at negative 7%. Why didn't you siege down this province? <laughs> You're letting them form up an army. Oh, there went a, a cannon stack. Are we, are we playing Ring Around the Rosies of this lake? Lake Constance? Stop running, you coward. Killed twice as many as we lost, and we gained siege ability on this guy. Oh dang. Gained professionalism. Yeah, I, this guy is just gonna absolutely wreck. We have high prestige, so our. Yeah, 27 days. So our, our siege ability actually went down because our prestige went down a little bit. But my gosh. And Halt is now core. I don't remember having claim on it. Probably did. Front occupied province, whatever. Let's go ahead and convert to Magdeburg. Trade dispute. Leaders have now an extra lit fire pit. Definitely not going to complain about that. There goes Trent. And that's pretty much a, uh, well, the war is already pretty much over when it first started, but Trent, I will let you out of the war. I think you have vassal. I don't need you as vassal, but sure. Just give me your money and war reps. You're not that important. No longer siege, which is nice. Alrighty, Memmington, I will let you out of the war. I think money, transfer trade power, and rivalry with o Ulm. There we go. Just get that prestige up again. Where is the vassal? He he's, you're preventing him from coring my land. There you are. I was hoping you were going to take this so the core would go. Alright, debate. What do we want to do? Mercantilism? That's pretty good. National unrest? Uh, we have some unrest, but it's just because I took land. Not a big deal. Land maintenance would be nice. Uh, let's just go for the mercantilism. I'm not losing army tradition. Do I give up 2% of the land? Yeah, why don't we give up 2% of the land? Not a big deal. And we can lose the army professionalism. We just got an event for plus 3% anyways. Why are you leaving? Sit on his fort. There we go. Oh, I understand. He has a 7 stack sitting right there. I get it. 
this can go to NASA. Get that all away. Austria would join the coalition. Alright, maybe we'll just sit a little bit. Let uh, a little bit of the A go away. Military leader has died. It is not our current leader. Too few seats in parliament. Huh. Let's go look at our development. Is this already a seat? It is. Looks like this should be our next seat. Just because it gives gives bonuses to development. Go ahead and highlight it. So it gives extra production tax modifier, local manpower modifier, and sailors modifier. Well, we don't care about sailors, but we care about every all those other things. That almost a thousand ducats just sitting in the bank. We're only gaining four ducats a month, but renting out our kind of theory is worth a lot. Here we go. Dortmund, give your money, or up to transfer trade power, and get rid of your rival for five prestige, so we are capped, which helps with uh, the AE decay. I think we still have to wait a little while, though. Give me your money. Are you fighting Austria? No one, you just... Need access through my land. Probably want to go to war with someone on this side. You, you can't actually get through. It's kind of funny. Go and bring our army back into our country. And halt. That's where we have issues. Oh, we're actually converting it now, too. On halt. And, oh, just hail. Sure, Friesland, you can enter my land, no big deal. Good bump stability. I said I'd rather be the papal controller. There we go, we have a 25% chance. Oh no, our really good general is gone. Darn. Go ahead and make our leader. Not bad, 434. Can't rent out, rent them out in charge of Conde Diori, but that's okay. Manufactory, 0.24. Ramparts. What does ramparts do? Attrition for enemies. Okay. State house. Let's go ahead and put. I uh, can't go and burn. Uh, just go ahead and give him plus 0.2. Uh, or plus two uh, unrest. That's no big deal. Okay, so they rework the manufactories. Statewide governing costs, though. So we want one of these in each state. This is one of our biggest states. And sure, go there. It'll save a little bit of money over time. Let's see, Anhalt getting ready to rebel. Let's stop drilling, because... We're not going to be able to prevent it from happening, because we are trying to convert it. There we go. Big stack wipe. Sorry, Hess. Uh, you must wait. Our vassal is having issues with rebels. We can go take care of that for them. There we go. Munster. We still have a truce, okay. Skyland has internal conflicts. It's like, are you gonna release all of your uh, the land that you took off of England already? Reduction in cost of our military units is always good. And go ahead and just drill. Front line is a little small right now for our troops, but we do have ten artillery, so we are we are hitting really hard. Troops expired with Trier. 
don't particularly have any interest in going to war with them anytime soon. Land is all kind of rubbish. <laughs> I say that when we're in Germany, but uh, doesn't really have any high development. Definitely would like prefer this Italian land or go over here by Paris. Should be something we do later when we after we uh, go ahead and maybe form Germany or uh, become the emperor. First, you can no longer be a democracy or republic. We will need to. Uh, Become a monarch. Currently, we're we're a uh, we're a dictator, which I'm totally okay with. Is we're a four three three. How old is he though? Sixty eight. He's he's a little old. He's up there. That's okay though. All right, Hess. You want to peace out now? Austria will no longer join, so everything's just peachy. And goodbye, Hess. Not concerned of the coalition size because we have a France. <laughs> but where are all your troops from? Oh, there they are. I was like, that's not very many right there. And then the 4K was over the 30K. But I didn't see it. Alrighty. Definitely don't need to be paused at the moment. States. I think it's time I take a little bit more of your land. I don't think it's really doing anything for us, though. But I want to see what happens when we get to 100%. It's like we have no morale, but we're still basically insta wiping. Yeah, last 800 troops in that battle. Alrighty, we have some new rebels within Saxony. Not a big deal. Aztecs fit have a doomsday. Yeah, this really hasn't changed much. Actually, Kachiko. That might be a new guy. From I'm thinking of one for my Aztecs Let's Play, um, which had to abruptly end because uh, the update came through and I didn't finish the campaign. But, uh, that guy looks new. They did definitely need to do some reworking in the, uh, the new world. Because uh, it's very bland and has not seen uh, an update in quite some time. For our, uh, let's not have our current leader in charge. Yeah, it was like, you probably can't pay. Point four, but you luck a. You oh, you actually have some money. One point four times the value of our army. I think that's well worth it. it, it we are fighting Venice. Totally okay with that. Looks like Ryukyu is doing some stuff. Is that hill? That's my mountain fort, so. I've really, I'm not a defender in my own land. That's kind of surprising. Like, that's my own fort. Not gonna lie, that's a little annoying, but. Prestige from land battles? Sure. And let's actually go north so we can deal with our Saxon rebels that are going to spawn within the next 0.6 years. Um, let's go ahead and lose the Diplo power, just because there's a lot of admin power to stab, and I already spent half of our uh, Papal influence. Okay, the supply limit over here is garbage. <laughs> Can't walk their island land anymore. I think our effect went away for, yeah, manpower recovery speed. The Papal Convent has elected Gregus IV. He is loyal to us, and we are now the Papal Controller. 
Well, fantastic. Go ahead and invest the rest because that will reduce our AE. So we get stab cost minus 10%, extra diplomat, extra prestige, advisor cost goes down, tech cost goes down, leads to the upkeep goes up, plus one, and clergy loyalty equilibrium goes up. So we can excommunicate. Be kind of fun. Austria. Can we excommunicate you? No. You're, you're too friendly with the Pope. Pope, who do you hate? Venice. Oh, we can excommunicate Savoy. Must wait until 1563. Savoy's going to get excommunicated. They'll reduce our AE against uh, taking their land, which will be nice. Influence another province or convert. It'll be Anhalt itself. And there are rebels that we were waiting on. Then we'll come back south. We are a little in debt manpower wise. Um, obviously, I'd like to have a little bit more, but. Peasant War in Norway? Looks like England has a colonial state. Yep, 13 colonies, which is just in France, or no, just in France, in Florida, which was traditionally colonized by Spain. Which is not a big deal. Sicily and the Pope. Increased relations? I will definitely take that. Okay, who are you at war with? Mantua, Venice. This dude over here. Let's go. Occupy that real quick. That that should fall very quickly. Yeah, we're already at zero percent. Mainly because one of our artillery cannons is well, actually it's a level one fort, so we probably already have a plus five. So it's just because we don't have our four siege leader, four siege pit leader. Prove relations with the Pope. And why don't we go ahead and send our other diplomats to go to countries that are outraged. They're already a little ticked off. There we go. That is a fort that has fallen. I'd like to st stand somewhere where we don't take attrition. There we go. Take attrition just walking th through our own land. Uh oh. A count is crowned. Long live the count. Black news indeed. A new duke. A 532. Not bad. And I believe we are now a monarchy. So, yep. So we can do royal marriages now. Unjustified demands or income for vassals. Hmm. We're not really going heavy on vassals, but I probably will in the future now that we are a monarchy. National tax. National manpower modifier, though. We don't need money. More to cultures. Monthly autonomy change to go for cultures. Advisor cost and burr loyalty, or leader cost, stability, or let's go for admin free policies. I like policies. Mark points are important. Unrest minus one, maximum absolutism plus five. Army tradition decay, that's pretty strong too. Production. Or what do we have? State general, staff cost, ah, nah. Don't really need the unrest, absolutism, or really army tradition decay. Let's go for the army tradition. Let's see, minimum autonomy of territories minus 10%, or governing capacity plus 250. We currently have. I just forget, we're at almost at 400. Let's go for plus the 250 because we need to take a lot more land. Ten percent on territory is not a big deal since this should all be cores. And then we just have the tier seven left. Already. Which should be ready in twenty 
24 years. <laughs> Why are you so slow? Due to point average local autonomy. Okay, so it's based on autonomy. Yes, NASA, we can be allies or have royal marriage. Lithuania? What is our von Ansbach? Okay. Ansbach is not our primary title, but whatever. You are of Mecklenburg, same dynasty as Lithuania, so let's actually go ahead. Would like a royal marriage with Lithuania and Bohemia. Our army reformer has perished, not a big deal, because now we can increase morale. Let's go for discipline so we take less losses. We go find a province we can stand in. Right there. Spot in. Take Advent and Diplotech. Sure. Not a big deal. France, yes. Yeah, you know, if I got the, uh, if I became the same uh, dynasty as France, I would not complain. Because that would be a PU I would push in a heartbeat. <laughs> they would be hard to control um, for a little while. Um, but we would just have, have to reform the army a little bit, and we'd be good to go. We make most of our money from taxes. Let's go ahead and get tax guy. Our army is already rented out. Are you paying us yet, Luka? You are. 17.77 ducats a month. It's not, a, it's not a little bit. You're probably going in debt for that. Excuse me, I gotta get some water. I'll have to get some coffee later. Because it is still early in the morning. Not sure if you guys could tell that or not, but you guys are upset. I can't imagine why you guys are upset. Let's go defend the fort. It's a hill fort, but that is 37,000 troops. Rebels in my vassal. You can't actually defend yourself. Okay. Fair enough. That is farmland. I'm not going to go charging into farmland like that. Displays dealing with their own rebels. Alright, I think we only get one more month. Let's go help our vassal. Excuse me? Back in your own land. <laughs> Why can't I walk through my own land? <laughs> All right, Laka. I thank you for the money. Goodbye. Now let's go help our vassal. And we have positive manpower once again. Let's see, Hess has gotten lots of claims. 412 for an air. Uh, he's slightly below average, but I'll live with it. Let's go somewhere where we uh, don't suffer attrition for a little bit. We can start recovering a little bit more. Allied to Venice and Sweden. Sweden will not join Venice. Yeah, you guys really don't like me. <laughs> not, not, not surprised, honestly. Let's go for West. Westphalen? Yeah, Venice has a pretty big army. France, do you want in? No. <laughs> You're in debt. Pope, who are you fighting? No. Oh, you're fighting Mantua against uh, Venice. Okay. Hmm. 
And to it, do you want from the theory? Can't really afford it though. Okay. We do have a mountain fort though, so it'd be pretty easy to actually beat the uh, the, the Venetians. Basically, just take out Munster real quick. Where's their fort? Right Here is one. Is currently maintained. And there, their capital. So it's two forts. Probably fall pretty quick. Let's go and pay for a new general. Three five. We'll take it. Oh hey, and we have a nobility estate again, and they instantly get 10% of the land, which I had taken from them. That's not annoying at all. You guys don't need that anymore. I would like my absolutism to be higher. Not that we're in that age yet, but... When the time comes, let's go ahead and just go for Munster itself. No, go for West Bellin. And we'll just walk across the border. You have 12k troops, not a big deal. Small potatoes. Do need a little bit more papal influence though, just so I could get the uh, click for uh, extra manpower. Lose two stab. Separation of power. No. Sure. You can have parliament again. Too few seats. Yeah, that's fine. Let's go ahead and look at our development. This is going to be a seat for our parliament. This with our capital. And this one. Is that all we need? No, we need a fifth seat. Augsburg, you will be the, uh, the fifth seat. Start a debate. Can we get manpower? Legitimacy is also pretty good, though. Definitely helps. Yeah, let's go for legitimacy. It'll reduce our uh, rebels. Alright, we'll lose. Two legitimacy and we're getting plus 10. Yeah, that's fine. And local autonomy will tick down. We spent two legitimacy to get 10. And some papal influence that we get already a ton of. Let's see, we get almost 9 a year. Venice is not even participating in the war for the most part. Ah, oh, Vassal, why'd you go do that? So you lose your army. Gain prestige and army professionalism? Sure. It's a nice event. Don't know where their army is going. But okay, we'll go ahead and siege down their uh, their last fort. And let our vassal carpet siege. Because frankly we have more important stuff to do. There is Venice, they're coming in the back way. Which is a little annoying Austria gave them access. So aren't you rival to Austria? Or, uh, to Venice? No, okay. So you're probably pretty friendly with them then. Flatland. Oh, there's Munster. Take another military idea group for siege ability, plus 20%. Make all of our sieges go a little bit quicker. There we go. Let's go smack Munster's army. And then we'll just come make our meander on down to uh, Venice. Make sure they can't retreat. This farmland will go ahead and just stack wipe the 8k. You have a 4k, fight the entire Venetian army. Do you have a tactics advantage? Who's prestige? There we go. Magic combat plus 10% is really good. However, we do not have the manpower to really sustain this fight. Since now we are 7,000 in debt. Now we got the 100 Diplo. Well, there went 5k of the Venetian troops. They wandered into a location they were not meant to be. Here we go. Let's go ahead and take out Monster's army. Once that is done, pretty much just be uh, ready to surrender. 
local defensiveness plus 25%. Let's go ahead and shift consolidate so our, our, our uh, stack or combat fighting ability goes up. It is roll a 9. Let's go, let's go for a stack wipe. Nope, no stack wipe for us. Alright, our front line is very weak at the moment. Let's go ahead and recoup a little bit. Oh, and Venice is at war with these guys too. Alright, Vass, go and uh, siege that land back. I don't think any of these really apply to us. We don't have any mercs. Sure. And we'll go ahead and just let the army reform a little bit. We're getting 300 a month. Unhalt is woods. Go ahead and threaten up here. The only place they can flee to is here, and our vassal's gonna go take out Munster's army. Good job, NASA. 20k to their 20.5, but they are suffering attrition. Good job, Vassal. You almost lost, but they pulled it out. Let's go ahead and click for an extra 15% manpower recovery speed. Now we are getting 330 a month. Vassal's just sitting there looting, doing good stuff. Separatists. Oh, yep, that's fine. We're not going to take any of that land, so I don't really mind. 21,000. I think it's time we go. Shift consolidate. Hungary is missing an heir. Here we go, Venice. Have access. You guys probably aren't fleeing very far. Never mind, you guys are fleeing very far away. Alright, we'll just go back to our own country. Cancel military access. Venice, you are still have hot, really high war enthusiasm. Go to Nassau. Vassal's getting fed today. Because I have a claim on this too? Yeah. A big coalition. Still no Austria though. So we can uh, actually just sit here for a little while. We have the war goal. It's still ticking up. You get 14.6 more actual war score from that. Okay. And the longer we wait, the uh, the less AE we'll have. We are the Cura controller though, so there's a chance that we'll lose that. And I don't like the 0% uh, already on that fort. Yeah, it's already at 21%. Let's just peace out then. Taking quite a bit of land. Oh, Austria is on that uh, that list. Hmm. What happens if we don't take Berg? It's a lot smaller coalition. Yeah, it should be fine. Give me your money. All right, fine. Give me war reps then. No money. This is definitely bugged because it just maxes out. I right, got 182 decades, fine. And we need to recoup. We're not renting out our kind of Diori for a bit. We can have a new rival. I think Austria is more than acceptable at this time. Since they have us rivaled, it'll strengthen our bonds with France. A little bit of a coalition. Little one province miners. Honestly, I was like, I would just attack it right now, just get rid of it.
I'm intrigued why Austria would join this. Oh, they're a free city, that's why. Duh. We need a non-free city to join. And revoke our embargo. Go and give one to Austria. Nuremberg, you have joined, you are another free city, so I can't do anything about that. Wurtenberg, though, you are not. And you are the wrong religion. So we can actually go beat up half the coalition. We do lose an ally, but they're dealing with something already. Just march on the capital. Siege it down, we'll just white peace. Mulhouse joined the coalition, not a big deal. Wow, he has actually chose to fight. Sorry, once our morale is actually at full, they won't. They won't bother. Though that is quite a few troops. 27k. Stack white. Let's get out of there. I think we might have to actually uh, acquire a merc. Alright, that, that sacks a little big. Nice little nine stack will do. Alright, now we can go over here. Admin cost, government reform, progress, or money. Let's go for the admin power. Disease has broken out. Not a, too big of a deal. We are... What? 36 months, so about 3 years in debt manpower. It's a little bit. Unless this thing falls though, they'll pretty much be out of the war. There we go. Go take out Ulm. Yeah, we rolled a 10 to their 5 in the shock phase. There we go. There we go. Goodbye, Mercs. And now we'll just patient, patiently uh, let the army rebuild. Because the coalition is going to be a joke now. Because we got rid of all of them. Well, at least half of it. Austria has not joined. They're at war with Muscovy. Sure, you can have access. Just take the positive. Leave everything else. Um, you are no longer an ally, are you? So we need now an alliance. Let's see, Hungary, you don't have a no diplomat to send. You're currently at war with Wallachia and Muscovy, or Lithuania in the conquest of Lubin. And you're with the Ottomans, so you're you're not a great target, honestly. Excommunicates Void, just cuz. Let's see. Who doesn't like Austria? The Ottomans want to be friends? No. <laughs> Let's see, Bohemia. You don't like me. No, actually, you're totally fine with me. Oh, yeah, ally Bohemia. And then we can just fight the Emperor. Send our diplomat to go uh, to threatening countries. Go 
could annex Nassau. Could be a pretty viable option. Yeah, come back from the Ottomans. We'll annex Nassau. This is a very slow grind. How close are we to the next idea group? 14? Oh, it's the next one. At which we'll go ahead and take influence ideas to reduce our ad. Which we're going to need 3, which is 1200 diplo points, so not quite ready to go ahead and annex him then. Yeah, we're going based off that. Well, that is all the time I have for today, so if you enjoyed today's episode, please like and subscribe. Have a good day.